Hey, this is Jenna Zweigel. This is Josh Zweigel. And we want to share our passion and our true story with you. I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit, like from a super young age. I was building business plans. I had like lemonade stands where I was making money. And then when I got into college, I went to school for business and started making business plans. So I always had an entrepreneurial spirit. And I came across an ad of a gentleman that was pushing a network marketing product with $600 to get started. I had no money to my name at all, but um, I got a couple people together that gave me a loan to get started and then I sold my drum set, put that money together and spent 600 bucks and got started in, into network marketing. My parents were really upset that I was going kind of a different direction from traditional education into network marketing and direct sales. But once I had a little bit of success, it, it really started to make sense. I grew up in a small town in California where there weren't many paved roads and you often rode your horse to the market. This was 30 years ago. Now it's of course a completely different town. I went into the military at age 22. I went in because I was broke and I needed to put food on the table. I was a young mom and a single mom at the time. I think the Army taught me most to not quit because you're like not allowed to quit <laughs> in the Army. As much as you want to, as much as you're challenged, and as much as things get impossible, you're not allowed to quit. And I just have always compared my life experiences from that point to the Army because Anytime things get tough, I realize it wasn't, it's not as hard as it was then. The first year in that business, I had to learn a lot about network marketing and how the business works, and I only made thirteen dollars or $14,000 my first year. And then the second year, I made a six-figure income, and that was when my whole life turned around because I saw the true power of what word-of-mouth advertising and network marketing could do. A lot of my early experience with network marketing was trial and error was failing forward. It took a few years of just trying new things and, and challenging myself to try different methods, I, I guess, to, to really figure out what did work. In July of 2014, I actually went to another company convention and it was at the convention that I decided that I didn't want to be involved in network marketing anymore. And it was also the same month that I met Josh. We lived in Baltimore, Maryland. We both met in Baltimore, although I wasn't a normal resident there. I was just there. Passing through. <laughs> Passing through, yeah. We met on Facebook, actually. We met on the internet through the network marketing industry. And I was just getting out of the industry and was getting ready to sell marketing systems. And he happened to be the guy that was selling marketing systems. So I signed up through one of his deals and I didn't get paid. So I had all of my following cancel their subscription to his products. And that's how he knew about me is because he saw who is this girl that's referring all these people and having all these people cancel. So he reached out to me and said, hey, you're in Baltimore, we should meet. Yeah, and it was so crazy because I'm like, who is this lady coming into our company and completely like ransacking our organization, telling everybody to cancel? So when I looked her up on Facebook and I saw that she lived in the same state, I was like, wow, that's really, really weird. And then I saw like she was like really attractive as well. And I was like, maybe I should meet her and like try to like work things out with the system and see if I can, you know, smooth things over. So then I invited I invited he you invited out for, for me, dinner. No, actually, he invited me for coffee. Yeah, for coffee first. So as I was pulling up to the Starbucks where we were gonna meet, and he gives me a call and says, "Yeah, I don't drink coffee, but I'll meet you for dinner." And she's like, and "That I, escalated it's quickly." Like, wow. Like, <laughs> I knew right then and there that my whole life was going to change. You could just kind of feel like that connection when you first see someone and you're like, oh my God, like I need to be with that person. And then all I wanted to do was hear her story and learn everything about her. Yeah, I have, that's pretty accurate. When I first saw him walk through the door, I thought, I'm in trouble because my whole life is going to be completely different from here on out. And I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I have to follow it. And 
that was, the rest is history, I guess, but that's how we met. What's funny too is when she was telling me her story and she's telling me about like all these bad experiences she's had in network marketing, I told her, hey listen, I'm actually thinking about launching my own network marketing company and you were like shocked. I said, like, have fun with that. <laughs> I'll yeah. watch <laughs> from the sidelines. And he's like, it's funny you should say that because I really need you to join, actually, and be an affiliate and go she get She was them. like my greatest recruit, basically begging her to join the business. Like, come on, you know, let's do it again. Like, it's okay, it'll be a different experience. But she did say that, like, I will join your company if you do things differently than everybody else. And we kind of made a commitment back then where, hey, we're going to do it completely different. We're going to change the game. We're going to go against the grain, the standards. I changed my mind about network marketing after hearing his story because it was the first time I had met somebody that actually did it right, that actually had a proven track record, that had documentation, more than just conversation. When we first started, we had this vision of creating a brand that could hold multiple brands inside of one brand. And that was the idea behind my daily choice, my for a business that people could identify with daily to represent daily products and services that people would like to consume on a daily basis. And then choice, we wanted to give people the choice of how they wanted to build their business, whether they're going to build an online business or an offline business. I believe that there are several different components that make up a great network marketing company. And when starting My Daily Choice, we tried to take all of those components and put it together so that the average person out there in network marketing that gets involved either for part-time income or full-time income has a real opportunity to succeed. So those components are number one being the people. I've always felt that at the corporate level of network marketing companies you want to be involved with people that you can like, people that uh, you can know, people that you can trust, people that are relatable. So at My Daily Choice from our corporate staff to our leadership team you know, we have people that have been in the trenches before, so we understand what it's like to build a network marketing business from the ground up. And I think the second component that's really important is the products. Products and network marketing should be highly consumable, they should be unique, um, they should be trending. When we have brought products to market, we look at how can we be in the hottest trends that are out there, how can we bring products that have some of the highest quality ingredients and how can they be competitive in the marketplace. So when you look at the 17 products that we have uh, to market right now, I believe they fit those, those criteria to make great network marketing products. The compensation plan is what attracts a lot of network marketers to our business. At My Daily Choice, we tried to bring a compensation plan to market that was fair, balanced, and lucrative. By being less restrictive with rank requirements and ordering requirements and some of these different elements, we've been able to achieve a higher payout of up to 85% of the business volume that's generated through an organization. My mind was made up about MDC the first seven days in the business because as an affiliate, just doing what I normally did before, which was just recruit people, you know, try to get as many customers as I could. And that first week I made almost four grand. And I was like, this is, this one will work, like <laughs> this one's different, like clearly, this one pays. I thought for sure that when I launched, a huge number of people were gonna join us. Like we open up the doors for business and we're ready to go, like everybody's gonna come and it didn't happen. It was like, okay, ready, everyone join. And everyone was like, you're 23 years old. There's no way I'm gonna follow you into this crazy idea. I think a lot of people doubted us in the beginning. You know, we went against the grain and, and created something that we thought was better than what was out there. My wife Jen got sick with celiac disease and at the time we had just relocated out here to Las Vegas. I remember sitting in the doctor's office and having them tell me, what you have is uncurable, incurable. We can't cure you, but we can run a bunch of tests. And I just remember thinking, no thanks, I'm out of here. Jen got her medical marijuana card here in Las Vegas and started to experiment with CBD oil and different cannabis products. I wasn't actually sold on CBD being effective for anything at first. And it wasn't until Josh partnered with a farm in Kentucky where we got the samples straight off the farm that I began to start using these products and it transformed my whole life within like a week. Hemp work started because of my conviction 
to get the products out to everyone else because if they can work for me, I knew that they could work for everybody else. And she said, um, listen, we, we need to launch these products and I'm gonna do it with or without you. And he that said was, no. Yeah, I was like, I'm not launching and I these. I said, fine. Yeah, I can't launch these products <laughs> like out of thin air. And she's like, fine, I'm gonna do it with or without you. And we're gonna, call it, we're gonna call it Hemp Works. And I was just like, oh my God, like, it's pretty crazy. It was actually a genius creation. In the simplicity of the name, the brand, it really speaks to people. And our products do work. They're so high quality that people walk away after using our products, having an experience, and that's what they're saying is this stuff works. Because it's hemp works and it's the play on words and the brand, I think we've created such a movement in the CBD industry where people trust the brand, they trust the name, they know they're getting a high quality product every time they purchase it. Thanks to Jen for coming up with such an incredible- it's Divine inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. My favorite thing is how smart she is. I think she's super smart. I think she's a genius when it comes to marketing. She's incredible with her leadership training and the way she impacts people and really um, has the ability to speak to people and touch their heart. It's not just about their bank account. It's not just about the business. She's, she's able to really get through to people and create breakthroughs for them, which I love witnessing. I like working together because we're both working towards a common goal and watching your husband leave for work at the end of the day, not really knowing what he's doing or if he's impacting the world at all. We have a completely different life where we are impacting the world and we get to see it in our daily lives because we live together, we work together, it all kind of runs together and you know, it's, it's an incredible place to be where you can live your passion.